What is going on to all my Euphoria fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. I am here today for all my Euphoria fans out there to give you some a, a special video. You know, I normally do my live after shows after the episode. I do my video breakdowns of the episode, but I want to give you all a prediction video. I've done this in the past with some of my other favorite shows and essentially I'm going to be giving you all what I hope to see and what I think will happen in this week's, which is so bittersweet and so sad, this week's season two finale. I'm going to talk about some of the storylines, what I think will happen with some of the characters. Of course, I can be wrong. I can be right. But it's just a fun time talking to the community of Euphoria fans. So before we break it all down, make sure if you haven't already to check me out on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel, come and join this awesome community by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And as you can see on the screen now, if you enjoyed this video, break breakdown of euphoria before the season two finale make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also share the video to all the euphoria fans out there that you know that love this show just as much as we do and in those comments you all see those comments down there go ahead and light them up with your thoughts your theories your predictions what you maybe hope to see in a season three let's talk about it all in the comments below so just a quick little plug uh this sunday i will be hosting a live watch along for the season two finale of euphoria episode eight i'm going to leave that link in the description so click the link hit that reminder come and join me in the community as we watch and experience this episode together and then of course i will be doing my live after show for episode eight with very special guests we're going to break it all down we're going to laugh we're going to cry we're going to have a great time so i hope you all can join us this sunday so look this is uh this is a lot this is a lot that i saw based on again this is a spoiler kind of breakdown so of course if you haven't seen the most recent episode go watch it watch my review you come back and join the conversation uh, and of course I'm going to be touching on I have seen the teaser trailer for the finale I'm going to be bringing up some of the things I saw in there and how it can might tie into my predictions with this video here so with all that being said full spoilers are you all ready for my predictions let's get into it here so I think it's only a right to talk about the lead of the show who is played by Zendaya and of course I'm talking about Rue Elliot, what will happen with Rue? How will her story kind of wrap up in the season? Well, first and foremost, I think it's safe to say, based on episode seven with Rue being in a crowd, smiling, uh, appearing to be clean, and, and seems to be on the right path to, you know, leaving drugs aside. And then you all know, if you all haven't, go check out my uh, episode seven review. I'm still kind of indifferent about the conversation she had with Leslie, and I appreciate all you guys' input on how you all interpret that scene, but I think it's safe to say that Rue is uh, turning over a new leaf, and she wants to be clean for not only herself, which is first and foremost the most important thing, but also for her family, her mom, her sister Gia, of course her friends and her loved ones, so I think that's what we are going to see in this coming finale, that she has accepted that she has made mistakes. She wants to continue this road of apologies as she started with Ali. I think we might see a scene with her and Jules, maybe with Elliot after muffing him the last time she saw him. And of course to Lexi, right? I think she's going to have that heart to heart and it seems like things will be going good for her. But this is where my theory kind of kicks in on my prediction. I think as we know as Euphoria fans, good things don't last too long as we'll talk about some of these other characters a little bit later. But I think Remember episode one, when Rue was introduced to Lori, what happened to her when she met Faye? She was snatched out of the car and brought into Lori's house. I think we might see a similar scene to her being happy, maybe just leaving Lexi's house or leaving, you know, Jules' house and things are looking good and someone's going to come up, and particularly Lori's henchman, snatch her out of the car and go into a maybe a cliffhanger on, maybe she's going to sell Rue, maybe she's going to make her do things to get that money back. Or here's my other tie-in. Again, that's what I, I hope it doesn't happen. I want Rue to be good and safe and all that stuff, but I can see that being a Rue because Lori's still out there. She still needs her money. Another maybe more dark and sinister and maybe upsetting prediction I have here that ties into Rue's loved one, in particularly her younger sister, Gia. Lori's a psycho. She's very well-mannered. You know, she never gets angry, but I wouldn't be surprised if... I'm not going to hit you. I'm going to hit you where you think it hurts most, which is your family. Maybe Lori takes Gia. I know it's dark, it's messed up, but hey, she might get her attention when she takes someone close to her. So I hope it doesn't happen because I love Gia, but that might be a path that we could see happening. Let me know if you all are maybe on the same wavelength. If you think something else could be happening to Lori and Rue and her family, let's talk about that in the comments. So I think it's only appropriate if we're talking about Rue, let's talk about Jules. And also let's tie Elliot into the mix uh, in this conversation. 
I'm not going to lie. We're going to talk about it. Obviously, we have one more episode to see how it plays out. Jules' storyline is easily not as compelling, not as engaging as it was with what we got in season one. And if I'm being honest, her storyline this so far this season has been a little lackadaisical and kind of all over the place, right? But as far as what I hope to see happens with Jules' character, I hope that we get that conversation with Rue. I think it's only right that they break up and they just continue to be friends. Maybe they can get back in a relationship when they have both figured out who they are as people. They have cleaned up their acts. But I think I would like to see Jules and Rue have that conversation about, okay, you know, cheating on one another, the lies, the deceptions, and just come to terms that they are just not meant to be at this moment. And then tying Elliot to the equation, who at this point just seems like a prop because <laughs> he hasn't really had the most character development. I still don't know where he came from. What is his living situation? I know that I mentioned weeks ago, maybe Elliot is the third son of the Jacobs family, which I don't even think will be the case anymore, but who will talk about the Jacobs here in a bit. But as far as Elliot goes, I hope that maybe him, Jules, and Rue can be in a room and just kind of say, you know, we effed up. Let's try to be friends and help each other out. Let's support each other. Let's let's keep each other on the straight path. And if not, you know, it's just maybe we'll get more with Elliot in season three. So let me know what you all hope to see with Jules' character, how that ties to Rue as individually. What do you want to see from, you know, Elliot as well? Let's talk about that. So since we talked about that trio of characters, let's talk about the next trio of characters, starting off with Nate Jacobs. Let's talk about Nate. What have we gotten from him so far this season? Well, we see him leaving his, you know, on again, off again girlfriend with Maddie and, you know, Mr. Still, your girl, going into her best friend with Cassie and dealing with all that. But at the same time, he's dealing with the battle, this 18-year battle with his father, Cal, which it seems like he is the winner. He's dealing with stuff with obviously having conversation with his mom, his mom expressing how he used to be so sweet. He used to be so innocent. But what happened to you, we all know, is probably due to him finding his dad's tapes, which kind of set him on this course of how he views women, how he views sexuality, things of that nature. But as far as this week's episode, him seeing, which I have my thoughts on Lexi outing him in front of the crowd or at least alluding to him being bisexual and, and, and all that stuff that we got into play, I think we're going to see Nate maybe apologize to Maddie. It might be out of character, but at this point, I think he's faced his, I don't want to say he's completely faced his demons because he still hasn't had, I think, a more deep thought provoking conversation with his father or what his father did to him and how it affected him as well as you know relaying that to his mother but I do think that we might see as we already saw you know a week ago him apologize to Jules he might be on his own apology tour with a, a Jules and and, and, a, and a, not a Jules but a Maddie this time around and maybe even Cassie we'll see what comes of that but I think that might be something now I could be 100% wrong because again this is Nate Jacobs, the goddamn devil himself. So he might just kind of be in the background watching all the madness go on based on what he's created. So let me know what you all hope to see with the Nate character, which brings me to, I don't have a lot to say about his dad, Cal, because right now this show is pretty much giving us that Cal is just off on a, a, a journey of self-discovery. Maybe he's out looking for Derek. I don't think we're going to get any Cal in this week's episode of the finale. Let me know if you all think you want. we're going to see Cal. Do you want to see more of Cal? Do you want to see him find Derek? Let me know your thoughts on that. But let's transition to the once upon a time best friends now becoming enemies. And based on that trailer, it looks like Maddie's going to be putting them hands on Cassie based on Cassie jumping on stage with Lexi, who we'll talk about here in a second. But let's talk about Maddie. It was interesting when Maddie had the conversation with Samantha. She almost made it seem like she was going somewhere, like going out of town for maybe a winter or the spring break or summer break. I don't know where Maddie's going to be going, but I hope that Maddie has that face-to-face heart-to-heart -heart conversation with her ex-best friend and Cassie. And that kind of transitions me into Cassie. I want Cassie to snap out of this goddamn trance. I want her to be able to hear it from, she's heard it from Maddie for all these years of how despicable, evil, you know, a, a manipulative Nate can be. But I really hope after Maddie beats Cassie's ass that they have this kind of woman to woman, heart to heart conversation. And she even says in the trailer, this is only the beginning. I think that that could be alluding to her saying, that Nate, you know, the breakup that you all just witnessed and us fighting, this is just what Nate, this is just the tip of the iceberg when you're dealing with Nate Jacobs. So I really do hope that those two friends have that moment and Cassie can break out of the trance and break out of this thing of seeking love 
and finding it within herself. So I hope that's something we get with Cassie, which brings me to her younger sister, Lexi. I hope she gets all the flowers. I hope she gets all the recognition that she deserves after uh, giving us an amazing play. Yes, I have my issues with how she kind of put people's dirty laundry on display, but it was her perspective. And then, like I said in my review, I feel like it was more of like a her expressing her insecurities, her expressing herself more so than harming her loved ones, besides Nate Jacobs, obviously. But I really do hope she gets her recognition and she really kind of finds her inner self and really can able to speak her truth more than what she hasn't been doing for the past, you know, 17 plus years, which brings me to, again, uh, Lexi, I really do hope in, in last week's episode, she mentioned that she's always feels like something's bad's going to happen. We know Euphoria has this type of trance-like type of scenes, these dream-like sequences, these kind of fantasies. I truly do hope that she gets the flowers that she deserves from Fez, who we'll be talking about here in a second. But I don't want to leave out. You all know if you've been watching my reviews, and we all know kind of the behind the scenes are going on with Cat. I don't know if we're going to get any Cat in next week. In regards, we're going to see her, obviously, but I don't know if there is anything that Sam Levinson can do to, you know, save her storyline. I don't think we're going to get much of Cat, unfortunately, which brings me to last but not least, saving the best for last, which hurts my heart. We see in the trailer that it seems like there will be a full-on raid, which is the second raid that has occurred to Fesco's house. Could it be a fantasy? Could it be a dream sequence? I hope that is the case, but if it's not, it looks like Ashtray will be handling his business with Faye's boyfriend, with that box cutter, and all that madness going on. I think it's important to note that that her Faye's boyfriend put his phone on the table. Obviously, they hear that their informant's being attacked. They're going to bust in. There's a weapon on site. He might have other weapons in the house. They might have the need to, you know, shoot first. And a lot of you all have been predicting it. Maybe Fez doesn't die because if he, if you all remember the finale of season one, it kind of left us up like, okay, what is Mouse going to do to Fez? And kind of, you know, we're almost in that same boat, but obviously, obviously it's playing out a lot differently. I think a lot of you all might be right when evolving if someone is to die, and this might be worse to Fez than him dying himself, that is his younger brother, obviously, not you know blood brother, but we all know from episode one of the season how he looks at Ashtray as his brother. Ashtray might die next week, and a lot of you all brought up some great points that the actor, that young man is growing up like the kids are stranger things, like they, the way he's aging, they might have to, you know, write off his character because he's just, it's kind of a silly to write off a character just because they're aging, naturally 12 year old, 13 year old grow at a progressive rate, but either way, I think we might see Ashtray die, which would leave Fez, you know, he might get shot, be in a hospital, might go to jail next season, I really hope they don't kill Fez, I hope they don't kill Ashtray, but that might be the route that the lifestyle they have lived has brought them to and they have to face their 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 past mistakes which we all know was killy mouse right so that's my final prediction on of our main characters on some of our main plots again i love the show to the core of me we're going to talk more about it on sunday with our watch along and of course our after show and i'm going to give you all my breakdown in the finale uh and after you know after the red premieres but i am really looking forward to this finale i am ready to laugh cry you know, have a great time, maybe end on a cliffhanger, and I can't wait for season three, but uh, that's my thoughts on what we can may expect on this finale. Let me know yours in the comments again. Rue, Fez, Maddie, all the characters on the table, all of our main characters, let me know your predictions in the comments. If you stuck around to this point in the video, I appreciate you all. Again, just a friendly reminder, Sunday we're doing a watch along at 7.30. Watch it. We're going to pregame, get some predictions on your own. We're going to read those predictions on the live stream, and then we're going to watch the episode. After the episode ends, we're going to jump right into our live after show, breaking down the episode, and then probably that following day, I'm going to give you all my full breakdown and review for the finale. So, thank you for watching this breakdown. If you haven't already, make sure to like share comment below subscribe to the channel come and join this community also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content hope you're staying safe hope you enjoyed this breakdown as you can see on the screen now subscribe to my channel check out my other euphoria content and we'll see you all this coming sunday